I'm from Zyco. So Zyco, we're a value-added distributor, and we've got offices throughout Europe. And uh, we've got an office here in Hungary, in Budapest, and Andrash, who's just at the back there. Andrash is our country manager, Andrash Pinter. You might have seen us earlier on. We've got a stand outside, one of the four stands outside. And we specialize in supplying innovative IT solutions for enterprises and organ organizations. Uh, you might have seen the presentation earlier by Palo Alto. So they were here as our partner. OK, that's one example of a, a vendor that we uh, work with. And Riverbed is another one. We are Riverbed's leading distributor in EMEA. We're actually we, we're their first distributor in Europe since 2005. So we've got a, a big track history with them. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that now, but uh, you can come and see us afterwards, of course, if you've got any questions. Now, this is just one example of a challenge that you might recognize out there about how to work going forward and adjust and implement new solutions and infrastructure. And Riverbed, a lot of you here might already know Riverbed. You probably know them most well, uh, mostly for one optimization, which is what they're most famous for. But obviously, uh, the title of the presentation is Location Independent Computing. And Riverbed has grown as a company, as a vendor, over the years since they started in about 2004. And they're able to offer uh, a complete range of solutions that will address this and many other issues. So in st they're basically uh, saying to you that they can offer you one, one set of solutions co in a coherent way that will address all the concerns that you may have for upcoming projects. So if we look at uh, some of the issues, some of these um, solutions that you may be implementing yourselves, uh, consolidating data centers, increasing the number of applications because of uh, the requirements of the business and the people that you work for. More complicated applications being asked for by clients in branch offices. Not just uh, supplying them in the branch office or from your own data center. Increasingly, you might be breaking out into the internet, accessing applications and services from the cloud, be it your own private, a hybrid cloud, or public cloud. And then, of course, mobile devices. Everyone here, they're using phones, tablets to record and make, in, make notes and record information, take photographs. They're also bringing them into work and also being given them at work and being expected to use them for work as quickly as if they were using them at home for normal uh, retail type applications. So there's quite a lot going on within an organization and obviously it's quite, uh, getting quite complex to adapt to all of these uh, initiatives and retain control, keep costs uh, uh, relatively affordable, but also make sure that the actual enterprise that is doing all of these in, uh, innovations keeps a competitive edge in whatever vertical they're in. Because, of course, all of this, it's not there for its own sake. It's there to make organizations more efficient and sell more and become more successful. So location independent computing, you can see a, a definition of it there. Essentially, Really, what Riverbed is saying is, what do you want to do? What are the problems? Tell us, and we'll make it happen. Okay? And by making it happen, we'll bring you a lot of other benefits. Some of them you might not have expected. So wherever information is, and wherever it needs to go, and whatever you need to do with it, okay, and, whatever, and being able also to manage it easily and simply, this is what Riverbed now, these days, will enable uh, you and your colleagues and enterprise and organizations all around the world to do. You see these three examples here. So you've got employees, partners, clients, if you like, within your company. You've got the CIO department. And you've got, of course, CFOs and CEOs. Now, often, these three elements or groups within an organization can be seen to ask different things of each other and often be seen in conflict. So often clients or the people that work for an organization, wherever they are in the world, will ask for faster, quicker, easier IT services and solutions. Or of course, the IT department itself is, more, is very concerned about, OK, yeah, we'd love to do that, but we haven't got all the money in the world. And we, we don't, you know, we're a bit worried about having lots of things, applications and, and data out in places where it could disappear or you could change it or things could go wrong. And of course, somebody's got to sign off for it and the CFO is going to say, this is all great, but why is it costing so much? Or what's it going to enable the company to do in the long term? And often, solutions can be put together 
by various groups. Often you might even get uh, some of the clients buying things themselves, you know, out on the edge. And they can be put together from different vendors in the, with the best intentions, but often what you end up with after that, implementing a solution, however fashion, whatever fashion you've done over time, is that each of these groups ends up working against each other in a certain way or spending time trying to solve things or issues, which when they shouldn't be doing that, they should be actually working together as a whole to make sure the organisation or company that they work for is becoming more successful. And you can see there some of the issues that each group, if you like, of employees has on their plate that they always look to when they're asked to assess a, pro, uh, a certain uh, opportunity or a project. Now Riverbed can enable all of these factions, if you like, to work together, get a solution that works for each of them, so it hits all of their sweet spots, but at the same time you're going to reduce the cost over all the business, you get a great return on investment, typical uh, payback, if you like, on a Riverbed uh, solution is six months or under. Reduces risks, increased security, uh, and enables you not just to do a point solution for something that came up or that's been coming up for a while, but be able also to plan and have a great platform for the future expansion of that company through technology. And really what Riverbed are uh, enabling com uh, companies to do is to finally harness technology and use it to give them that competitive edge in the marketplace that they're in, rather than it just being a pure cost centre. So we're looking here with Riverbed to use technology from them in a very uh, progressive and advanced way. There's a strategy. As I said, really, it's another way to put it is whatever you want to do, it's like Subway, however you want it, we can make sure it will work for you. And also they can introduce ways of doing things to a company that are very simple, easy to organise, easy to use, and perhaps a lot of en enterprises may not have actually believed or understood that that's actually a way to do things, po a possible way to look at things. So, how do you do this? Because obviously Riverbed has a range of solutions, but they put it together as an application performance platform. And I'm going to just briefly take you through individual ones. Obviously, um, each of these solutions I take you through, you can just have one of them. I mean, we're going to start off here with Steelhead, which is what they're most well, well known for. You can just, a lot of companies do just have riverbed steelheads to optimise the delivery, accelerate the delivery of files over long distances to clients and between data centres, OK? Um, riverbed are the world leader in this. They've got over 50% market share. Um, a huge, you know, about 12,000 customers worldwide, some of the biggest customers in the world, as well as some of the smaller customers, but it doesn't matter what size the customer is, or where they are in the world, how many clients you've got, uh, what size of links, the distance, how many data centers you need to service with this product, it never ever runs into trouble doing what it's meant to do. Um, so we're looking here at enabling, as I said, the delivery of files of the most well-known enterprises, uh, sorry, applications enterprises use across distances. Uh, the tagline was like land speed over WAN, land speed over the WAN, and it still stands firm. And this is like all of Riverbed solutions is available as an, uh, uh, an app, uh, a hardware appliance or a virtual only solution. Then there's Stingray. So here we're looking at uh, improve, radically improving the performance of web infrastructure and web applications. Okay, they could be uh, client-server, client-to-server applications, or could be east-west uh, applications within a data center. Okay, so we're looking at not just load balancing, but uh, very advanced traffic management all the way up to layer 7, working quite in depth into an actual application itself, actual application layer, as well as improving delivery of content from servers to web browsers, and also an application firewall. This is software only, Stingray. So it's been designed from the ground up to be software only. There's no hardware appliance. They haven't taken software from a hardware appliance and just put it into a software or virtual version. Um, it's very elastic, it says it's very elastic, very flexible, there's no limit to it uh, and you can install this data side, data center side and there's nothing needs to go client side. So Granite, so this is for where customers may have applications and associated storage that are very high I.O. 
uh, and up till now, even though they wanted to and tried to maybe push them back into the data center and deliver those services over the wide area network, it never really worked, even with uh, one optimization from Steel Riverbed or from another vendor. So this is a, a way to actually finally enable that to happen, to put all of that data back in the data center. And if you combine Granite with Steelhead, you can actually have a completely uh, infrastructureless edge. So branch offices can have no infrastructure whatsoever. And performance management. So uh, network analysis and application analysis. So here we're looking at solutions that uh, enable you to very quickly, like uh, finding a location, if you like, on Google Maps, you can go right down and look, if you want to, uh, one, what's that client doing over in Singapore, for instance? What's that switch port doing over in Gatwick? Or what's happening on a, a particular level of code in the application that's running my data center here just outside Budapest? Very quickly, very easily, you can troubleshoot uh, uh, instances often before they become help desk issues. It enables you to give you a great picture of what you've actually got, what you're using, uh, maybe where you've got redundant, redundant or surplus infrastructure applications and so forth. Um, this is uh, the, the performance management suite is made up of uh, what was once called Cascade for the network side and OpNet. Some of you might have heard of OpNet, which Riverbed bought recently. Again, all being put together as a coherent solution under one platform. So to tie all this together, as it says, open, we've got, the Riverbed has a great set of open a APIs. So they've got what's called, well, they just changed the name of it, it used to be called f um, fly scripts can be called steel script going ahead. So what will customers will be able to do is if you have the full performance platform here, you might something might happen at the application layer uh, that triggers uh, a report or an alarm that goes to the uh, performance management suite. And by writing rules through steel script, you'll be able to adjust the performance of all the different elements to meet whatever's happened. So it may be that you, you might need, there's a sudden surge on the SharePoint server from client activity. So that means that maybe the steelheads, you might need to spin up some more steelheads to give more access to clients out on the uh, edge. Or it may be that uh, the surge is coming from customers uh, looking at web pages on your SharePoint platform from their uh, whatever browser they're on, so maybe you need to spin up some more Stingray in the data center to make sure that that application doesn't collapse or slow down under the sudden surge of uh, interest or activity from those clients. And then when everything returns to normal, you'd like everything else, you'd like the whole infrastructure again to spin down and all that resource that you've temporarily put in place is not needed, so let's all just put it back to the way it was. So um, rather than having to constantly monitor yourself these things going around all around the world, all around your, your infrastructure, wouldn't it be great if all this could happen automatically, as an example, and you wouldn't have to worry about anything uh, going wrong. So essentially, rather than being told something's coming, that something's uh, gone wrong, you know that nothing uh, bad is about to happen, and in fact, you've got everything completely under control. So that's just a brief overview of the elements that make up Riverbed's modern range of uh, products, okay? Obviously, each individual vent a product that they have, each individual solution, has got a lot more depth into it. So I mentioned I was talking about Steelhead. So Steelhead can also accelerate uh, access to applications in the cloud, Office 365. It's the only vendor that can accelerate Office 365 for clients wherever they are in the world. That's just one example. So you might like to know more about how for instance, the Riverbed's uh, per, uh, performance suites would work, say, with SharePoint, as I, man as I mentioned earlier, or, or another uh, application. So we can actually show you in our performance lab. So we've got every single Riverbed product available on a VMware platform in one coherent lab. We've actually got two of these labs available free of charge, and you can book it, either speak to Andrew Ash, or you can go online and book it direct. We'll host it for you. Okay, we'll take you, tell us what you want to, what you want to see. Uh, we'll get it all set up for you in advance, take you through it. Here's just some of the examples of the solutions that are in there, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got a WAN simulator, so we can show off steelheads working. 
we've got granite, we've got an Office 365 account, so as I mentioned earlier on, we can show steelheads working with Office 365. Uh, you might want to talk about uh, cloud storage, because Riverbed can also help you with backing up to cloud storage, we can show that off. Um, I mentioned Stingray, there's Stingray up there, and also uh, the Cascade and Opnet uh, uh, network analysis and application analysis products will be in there as well very soon. So just let us know if you want to know more. If you want to separately just have more, a discussion about these uh, solutions in more detail, separately or to a group of you, then just let Andras know and we can arrange a session to get us ourselves or somebody from Riverbed to come along and see you and talk about that. And coming up in Budapest, 20, 20, 12th and 13th of March, Performance Management Workshop. So, um, Andrash is here, you see the email address, but if you want to know more about that or want to attend, let Andrash know. And as I say, we're just outside as well. We're coming up to a break now. If you'd like to come and see us and have a chat about uh, Riverbed or, of course, Palo Alto as well, then please do. So, as I say, we're here all day. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much.